hello everyone welcome to cat tutorials for beginners and in this tutorial we will see uh, the last remaining command from the constraint toolbar that is the animate constraint so we will see how to use the animate constraint command with the help of piston cylinder example so we will just create one profile here so let us create the simple cylinder here let's create a cylinder and we will just remove this one so we have to uh, make this in a sketcher mode only so just provide the dimensions so now you can see uh, we will just provide a symmetry line here so right click and allow symmetry line and select this vertical one so now you can see uh, the symmetry icon is added here and now we will provide some dimensions so let us provide the dimensions let's say 100 mm and we'll provide the horizon vertical as well let's say 120 mm and now we will provide the dimension from this horizontal axis and we'll keep this as 250 mm so uh, let us create one circle and I'll just remove this one here this tangent here and just provide a dimension as well so i will keep this as it is 100 mm and now we'll create one piston here just select a line and create a piston here and it automatically added the coincidence options here the uh, constraints here and now I will create one connecting rod so just select this as a connecting rod here and now you can see here uh, it is moving uh, with these constraints and now here we will create one crank let's create this one so now if you try to revolve it along with these constraints so if it is not uh, happening like this you have to ensure that this lines endpoint must be uh, co coincidence with this axis vertical axis so now uh, let us provide one more dimension here we just provide this dimension as 185 So now you can see the constraint is properly applied and now we have to uh, provide one uh, constraint dimension so let us provide the angle for this one to make the geometry fully constrained and we can just change this to animate animate these constraints so now you, we can use uh, the animate constraint option just go to the animate constraint and here if you see uh, select the constraint to animate so which constraint we want to animate so just select this constraint here and you can see uh, the first value and the last value we have to provide so last value i will provide is 360 and let's say uh, we'll provide the 10, 10 steps and if you try to just make a play you can see it's very fast so we'll just provide 50 number of steps here and just click on it so now you can see it is moving properly with a 360 degree and here uh, there are a lot of options available there is one shot and you can see uh, the second option is reverse so if you try to play it so once the one cycle is completed it is starting the reverse position and it's a loop so if you want to animate it in the loop so it is getting into the loop so continuously it will get animated and now the last one that is the repeat so if you want to repeat it so it will continue moving we we'll stop it and now we will provide just 180 degree so now you can see it is uh, completing 180 and starts from zero so in loop it will come in the same reverse direction 
so in this way we can use uh, the animate constraint to uh, see the actual movement or the actual working of the system so thank you very much for watching please do like and subscribe our channel for more videos thank you